First, the rules for giving to your favorite city council candidate could be changing after a complaint by a current city council member. A trial in federal court brought by Don Zimmerman against the city just wrapped up. Zimmerman contends the limits violate free speech rights. KXAN's Chris Sadegi spoke to past council members on the upside and downside of the limits. Running for office is not cheap. My family and I owe myself, my campaign, $100,000 right now. Former council member and mayoral candidate Mike Martinez says in Austin, because of fundraising limits, it typically takes dipping into their personal pockets. The only successful candidates uh, up until 10-1 were candidates who substantially invested in their own campaigns. $350 is the most anyone can give a city candidate in Austin, and candidates cannot receive a total more than $36,000 from donors outside the city. Both limits are being challenged. Current council member Don Zimmerman is challenging the city's campaign finance rules in federal court, but we talked to a past council member who helped put those rules in place. We had to limit the influence of special interest money. So that's why we put those reforms in place. Current county commissioner and former city council member Bridget Shea helped craft the limits in the 1990s. She said to keep elections from being bought by interest groups. And with the 10-1 system designed to get candidates closer to their district, she doesn't understand the challenge on outside dollars. So it strikes me as weird that a, a, a member of the council would want to be able to collect campaign contributions from all over the country. But if Zimmerman wins in court, that's exactly what candidates will be able to do. From downtown, Chris Sadegi, KXAN News. The judge in this case is not expected to make a ruling for several weeks. Austin has some of the state's most strict limits on campaign fundraising. For example, if you want to give money to a candidate for city council, the most you can give is $350. In San Antonio, that limit is $500. It is $1,000 in Dallas. And Houston allows you to donate $5,000 to a council campaign. Also, candidates for Austin mayor and city council can only raise money in the six months before the election. San Antonio is the only other Texas city to have a blackout period on fundraising, but it is only for the four days before an election. Houston used to have a blackout period similar to Austin's. However, earlier this year, a court rejected those rules. Zimmerman is challenging both the blackout period and the capped amounts on contributions. 